Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we're in collaboration with gun wraps here again. Here we have a pistol handgun wrap for a revolver or a semi-auto pistol. So with uh, no further ado, we're going to jump into this bad boy and see what it's all about. So here we have my brand new G-Force Arms. This is the Chronicle 1911 chambered in 9mm. So we're going to go ahead and ensure this is clear before we start working on it. As you guys can see there, chamber is empty. We are good to go ahead and disassemble this and start wrapping it. All right, so we now have this completely stripped down to nothing but the bare metal. I took everything off. All the components are gone inside. Um, I went ahead and sterilized this with some alcohol pads. Um, I recommend that to get all the grease and oil that they put on these in uh, manufacturing or if this is a gun that you've had for a while. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off with our wrap. Here we have the Vietnam Tiger Stripe in desert camo. So we're gonna go ahead and get this all wrapped up. So the cool thing about gun wraps is they do indicate what is what for each particular part of this particular wrap. So here we have the slide which we're going to be starting off with. So uh, now that we have our slide completely sterilized, it's all dried, it's ready to go. We're going to go ahead and take this off. As you can see up here it says front, which means that's going to be the front of the barrel. Um, we're just going to go ahead and separate this from the wrap behind it. Take it all the way off like this, set this aside time being we can go ahead what I like to do is start off from the front or the top in this case in this wrap you see there's a little indentation indicating that that should be the front so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna make sure that this is straight find my dot and then I'm gonna make sure that whatever pattern that I want is going to be showing. So in this case, I think I want to move it up a little bit, maybe get more of this in the back, this pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and find where I like it, line it up in the front, find my front reticle, nice and straight. Cool thing about this, you can pick it up and move it as many times as you need. So I'm thinking Right about there is pretty straight to me. And we'll go ahead and find the straight back. Same thing, line it up. I'm using my rear sight to pinpoint center. And that is center right there. So in this case, we're gonna be making some incisions so we can get the wrap around this. We can get this to lay flat. So I'm just gonna lift up on this. And I am going to make a small incision with my X-Acto knife at about the length that that sight was, that's about right there. I could take this and I could start to feed that sight right through the top, just like that. Get it to poke through. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And then we're gonna do the same thing in the rear. This time we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lift up in the back I'm going to make a small incision, indicating that's where I want it to start. And then I am going to trace this out just a hair, because we are dealing with a lot bigger of a slot back here. Now we can go ahead and start forming this to how we want it. Make sure that we don't have any bubbles or creases in this wrap. We're just going to start lightly pressing down, ensuring that everything is staying nice and straight. No air bubbles. No hard lines. Just go ahead, very gently find our contours. We have this completely on our slide. We're gonna go ahead and start getting everything nice and situated on this. I am gonna be cutting most of this out. So as you guys can see there, everything is nicely formed. I have my optics cut out. We're gonna go ahead and just start trimming away all of this excess. So the best thing to do is just follow these lines. If you can get a nice indentation of where these are, you want to insert your blade at a nice angle. And you're just going to go ahead and be sure not to scratch the weapon. Don't go too hard. And just nicely glide that blade right along these edges, cutting off all of this excess. Just like that. I've got a rear sight all cut out. As you guys can see there, I did go ahead and cut this edge out just because we have some safety pins back here and of course this is where the hammer is going to be firing 
So we're just gonna go ahead and cut this down the side now. All right, so we have our slide completely cut out now. We have everything where I like it. I think I might cut these out, I'm not sure yet. Um, I don't mind them being like that, but so far this looks super good. We have our optics cut out. I am going to be taking this off, putting an RMR bracket on for a red dot. But uh, so far so good. We're gonna go ahead and hit this with some heat for our final step. For our next piece, it's going to be the left part of the slide. So we're gonna go ahead and find this. This says left grip. So we're gonna go ahead and just peel this off. Get lined up where we like it. And uh, lay her down. Set this to the side again. So the side says facing front is this way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it down Get a nice positioning right where I think I want it. Honestly, I think probably right about there is more than enough. Make sure it is straight. Pattern looks straight. Go ahead and start getting all this cut out. So we have everything cut out that I wanted to cut out. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the other side and I will show you guys when I'm all done. So the grip is completely wrapped now. We're going to go ahead and assemble the gun. So here we have the wrap without my grips on yet, but as you can see, super sleek looking. Looks absolutely phenomenal. All right guys, so it's been a few days, but we are back. We finally have the wrap completely finished. I was done with the wrap um, in the video I shot previously, but I was waiting on some parts to come in to show you guys a final product, and here you have it. This thing looks absolutely sweet. Um, the wrap is so smooth. It's, like I said, it's been a few days and nothing has come up. The wrap is adhering very well. Um, everything's cut out to the way I like it. And this thing just looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, this rail cover did take up most of the wrap on my actual grip area, but that is okay. You can still kind of see where it is and it still matches the rest of the gun. So um, in most cases, some people will more than likely just go with the slide wrap, but in this case, I really wanted to get the full effect with this firearm, but it looks absolutely beautiful. In terms of installation, it was very straightforward, super simple on this 1911. Um, you kind of just want to really make sure that whatever you want to cut out, you cut out, and you know whatever you want to leave bare. In this case, I left my serial number obviously exposed, that way I can still see it. And um, trigger guard, I cut around it. All that stuff you guys can kind of see your cutouts for your magazine drop um, down here as well so here we have a almost finished product um the wrap is obviously done but as far as the build goes i have a couple more things i'm going to do to this i got an msp mounting bracket for a red dot coming in and then this gun is going to be complete but uh this wrap looks absolutely phenomenal on this weapon system uh, 1911s are pretty straightforward, they're easy, they have a lot of cutouts. In my opinion, I don't really like to wrap the whole entirety of the gun just because there's so many moving parts and obviously friction points that I don't want the wrap to touch itself. But um, as far as everything else goes, you know, my grip got covered for the most part, but it still shows a little bit of that accent, which is kind of what I was going for, and it turned out absolutely phenomenal. Everything looks super crystal clear and uh, the wrap is perfectly intact I don't have any bubbles I don't have any sort of you know imperfection in this bad boy I'd say the biggest takeaway from this video for you guys if you're looking to get into some wraps um, obviously wraps are going to be a huge cutback from Cerakote just because it's a way cheaper of an option you could do it yourself you don't have to drop your gun off anywhere you don't have to pay somebody to do this um, it just takes a little bit of your time you know invest three hours into a wrap if you're gonna be doing a full wrap um, you don't have to buy any fancy tools or anything. Just go get your wife's hair dryer, your girlfriend's hair dryer. Um, invest in heat gun if you want to, um, and just an X-Acto knife. And you can do this at home. You can do it yourself. It doesn't take too long. Just take your time, and you will come out with a phenomenal product that you're going to love. And uh, I have no doubt that you're absolutely going to be coming back to gun wraps for more. So be sure to go check out Gun Wraps website. They have so many different patterns and products to choose from. Um, this particular is just a universal pistol grip and slide wrap kit. They're coming at about 30 bucks, super cheap and affordable. Um, if you just want to get into it and you're, you're not sure if you feel comfortable doing it, they do offer just slide wraps for about 18 bucks a piece. And you know, you can try it, see if you like it, see how it works for you, and uh, get a good feel for it, get comfortable with it, and just go from there.
But uh, I'll leave a link down below to their website so you guys can go check them out. They are a fantastic company with amazing products as I just mentioned. So uh, be sure to go check them out. So big shout out to Gunrats for sending that out to me. And uh, I am so pleased with their new Tiger Camo Pattern product lineup. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting some more of those. I got two already. I'm going to go back for another one. But <laughs> uh, they look absolutely amazing. So big shout out to them. And thank you, my lovely subscribers, for watching all the way to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's content, and uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. we got some cool stuff coming up. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see some more wraps. Um, i got a shotgun I'm going to be doing pretty soon. Um, I'd love to do a tutorial on that as well. So comment down below if you want to see that done. And uh, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.